I think that my art is, is still in the uh, beginner stage, and I think that I can improve a lot more, and uh, with various uh, mediums. I use mostly uh, watercolors and acrylics. Um, I can paint on cardboard. I've sold, I've found a cardboard and painted acrylic paint on cardboard, and um, it was it's pretty cheap to do. And I managed to sell a few, uh, um, quite a few cardboard paintings on cardboard. And uh, I own a couple cheap. of those. I have a one that I really like. It's yeah. got a cat. Mm -hmm. yeah. I painted a Don Quixote. I love to paint Don Quixote uh, going after the windmill on his horse, you know. It's really dramatic. And I like to put some drama in my paintings, too, sometimes. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Yeah, we had that one of the dog fight. Uh, the, uh, All the airplanes, yeah, the yeah. World War II one dog fight. Yeah. Yeah, I've got that back there. That was, that's kind of an exciting looking painting to me. And, and I was like, it was kind of an aggressive mood at the time that I painted that and these guys on these in these airplanes are really aggressive toward each other and I uh, communicated, they communicated that in the painting I think. I think so. Yeah. So what do you remember the most paintings you ever sold in one day? I probably sold uh, oh well I've, I've, I've put together a book one time I had this book of paper and I painted the, all, all the pages in it I just sold it for cheap like twenty dollars you know I got twenty dollars, and I, I had this other time. I had about fifteen paintings. I sold them all for twenty dollars. I did them really fast, and they were pretty simple. And uh, well, so I sold about at least twenty paintings in one day, mm -hmm. and got beer money, cigarette money, and food money. Mm -hmm. and, and I think I did really well. Made it, like you know, getting um, uh, money for the work that you produce is 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 to live on is basically what what I like to do, <laughs> and art is what I like to do. I love I love painting, I I, I love music, I love uh, all kinds of art, and I study a little science and stuff like that too, and with logic and stuff. And I I plan on uh, painting uh, maybe some so I could paint ideas into uh, onto a piece of paper and and uh, give it a title. And people can see what it is. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you'll incorporate words or. Yeah, sometimes I write on my paintings to give messages about the painting. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, so typically, how many paintings do you do in a day? Ten or twenty, or maybe? And how well, long does it take? I can I can sit at one sitting, at, uh, where um, I uh, I just don't do anything else but paint and put out. 10 to 20 paintings in in, uh, in about 12 hours. 12 hours, so that's a pretty long stretch. And oh yeah, I can sit, sometimes I sit there for that long and paint that long. It comes out in the, in the bursts of uh, time and energy I have and, and I focus on doing nothing but painting and I really love doing it. And when and sometimes when it, when I'm done with the painting, I feel kind of depressed because yeah. because I, I I'm through with the fun, yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of so I have a lot of fun painting. I really enjoy it. So the 12 hours is not it's like a work it's for you. No, it's not work. It's like fun, you know. And then then you go sell them. Yeah. And you get the reward. Yeah. And I think about what I paint. I think about what I paint, and I and I try to organize it all on on there, and. Uh, with different colors and different brushes that I just happen to have and put it together as art. Where do you get your supplies? I get my supplies at uh, any uh, art store or stationery store that has paint and brushes and paper. So besides beer and cigarettes and I have food, to, you have to buy, buy supplies? Paint. Yeah, I have to buy supplies, yeah. But the watercolors and, and, and this paper, it doesn't cost that much to to, uh, to paint with uh, materials I've gotten so far. I hope to get some better materials and paint better pictures, too. Well, we're looking forward to that. Yeah, so am I. That's about all I can think of to say. It's very well, exciting. It's nice to have you back in town, Paul. It's uh, great to I be back. I think that story has missed you a little bit. I missed that story, too. 
If you were in uh, I, Salem? I was at the state hospital in Salem for, uh, uh, I had a couple, about 10 misdemeanors I did. It, and I, uh, they put me under the PSRB, Psychiatric Review Board, and uh, told me not to drink. Then I went out and bought some beer and they caught me and I, they put me in the state hospital, revoked my probation until I did enough time to get out. And I got better. Uh, they, uh, I, was, I was diagnosed in 1978 with paranoid schizophrenia. And uh, I've learned to deal with that and uh, adapt myself to uh, uh, my mental illness to uh, living my life uh, with other people and not withdrawing or, or uh, uh, disassociating myself with the world and society, you know. <clears throat> Even though you're a bit of a maverick of sorts. Yeah, I am that. But you really have an art, art, artist's consciousness, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I, I enjoy uh, your, uh, the way that you bring that art consciousness to Astoria, you know. Every, you know, it's, you might be walking down the street and you might not be thinking about art, you might be thinking about getting a plumbing part or something, and then if you see Paul, who's got a few colorful, maybe a colorful painting or two, you know, and... Uh, <clears throat> People ask me, you know, do you have anything? You are know? you an artist? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You have, they ask me, do you have anything today? And then you have birds, you have cats, what do you have? You know? so, yeah. Yeah, you do a lot of birds. And you mentioned you like to do flowers. I love to do flowers. Flowers, uh, you know, I think, I think nature put flowers on, on the planet to, to keep human beings' spirits going. You know? It's like sometimes a painting even if it's not a painting of nature, it's like a little bit of nature that you can hang up on your wall. It's kind of like having a house plant. Sometimes a painting is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And uh, I, I like to do flowers and vases, and I hear music. I listen to music, and I and I, I get inspired by music too. What kind of music do you like? I like rock and roll, you know. And uh, sometimes I listen to classical. Yeah. Every once in a while, I turn turn the dial. I hear a country, but yeah, I don't stay at the country station very long. You know? <laughs> yeah. So. Well, it's a wet time to be in Astoria. We're having a wet just fall, and it looks like it might be a wet winter. Yeah. A little bit dreary, but. Uh,